I am back. That's right, I am completely deprogrammed and myself again thanks to Fantabulous Gal. That's right. Yeah, cause good, cause I almost like lost myself there. Like, you know, uh, on uh, WKRP, when Johnny Fever, he's, uh, uh, he gets that job as Rip Tide, so he's gotta be that other guy and he almost loses himself in it. It was just like that, except that Fantabulous, he was tasering me and she, there was a chemical scrub and some Ashtanga yoga and stuff and the hose, that the hose and the, the yoga hurts. Okay, I'm just saying that. But now I am myself again, which is great. And you know why that's great? I'll tell you why. It is great because I now know what's going on. Those Yuka guys, you know what they were doing? They were trying to decode the secrets of the universe with those card games for that sucker. So, and nothing was gonna stop them. But luckily for me, Fantabulous, see, as I was leaving, she's kicking me out, she gives me an invitation to the big fight. Look at him there, huh? Look at him fighting, see? Just like that, I had an invitation this time, so I went. I got Dad's, um, uh, what do you call it? His, the, his electrocycle out. It runs on diesel, did you know that? That's crazy. Well, anyway, I get that out, and I start going down there, and you know who's there? Fantabulousy, and the major fault line guy, and uh, the leopard lady, lady, and Dad's there, and the whole, old Mega Powers League. I mean, all of them. Like, it was, uh, it was Dad and Dr. Dump and Keep On Truckin' and Hot Fudge and Lumparella and the Spandex Spaniard and Fro Magnon Man and the Disco Sailor. I mean, they looked just like they did in the old days and by that I mean they was funky. I almost forgot to fight myself, it was so cool. The human spud, he starts it with his potato can, right? Boom! 20 of them go down at once. Disco Sailor starts breaking out the hustle. Bam! A whole bunch of them just fall down the subway. And then Dad's there with his cable and he throws it up in the sky and he pulls down the pixel board and it crashes on top of like 20 of them. It was incredible seeing him and throw Magnon Man. Oh man, everything was going crazy. I mean, there was the animals just pouring out from underground. And then the hole opens up in the sky and what, and first there's a hole in the sky, and then there's a spaceship, and in the spaceship there was monkeys, and the monkeys had a poo cannon. Who the hell has a poo cannon? Oh, man, it was going like crazy, but then things started to get weird. Like, it, you know how a fight goes on and everyone, and everyone gets tired? Well, it was like the old Mega Powers guys were getting tired too. I mean, like, uh, keep on trucking, starts tripping on his shoes, and the spandex spandard loses his cape. How can that guy, spandex without a cape. And dad, even he was starting to get hemmed in. Man, it was looking really bad there. But then, out of nowhere, these religious crazies, they just start appearing out of like everywhere, like the shops and the donut place and everything. And they just yelling, boom, boom, boom. And it's like, at that point, the Euchre guys didn't even have a chance. Wow, it was incredible. I am a hero, just like dad. I got two, so. So that dad, of course, he goes over to one of the leopard ladies. Not the leopard lady who, like, you know, the one I know, but this other leopard lady. And he just plants a big kiss on her, which is weird, because she's still a leopard at this point. But, you know, whatever. So she purrs, and and then, like, poof, they just disappear. Like, I mean, just like the last time uh, that dad disappeared, only with that there was more tassel twirling and stuff. So Ma's pretty upset about that part. But it was cool. And you know what? I am a hero, so I can have all the sprinkles that I want. Huh? Yeah. Uh-huh. Sprinkles for winners. Mmm, tastes like victory. Diabetic victory. <laughs>